and then I'm going to do a bunch of PvP. And I might just talk you through my PvP attack team really quickly because I do believe it is firmly the best PvP attack team in the game right now. Okay, so we started the day at roughly 16,600 points. And let's see how we go today as a free to play racer. Let's go. So first one we're doing here is a feed food JE. So these are really easy. Just what you wanna do here is decide before or during the race, which monsters you wanna feed and know where to find them. So for me, I knew all my monsters have been fed to the max already. So I knew going into this race that I am going to be feeding rares. So it's gonna be things like pandicans or fire souls or green souls or anything that's like something that I can rank quickly and then sell off. And if you want to feed your pandas really fast, then go to settings, go to performance, more options, and make sure that button is switched on. And you'll see here, I'm also calling for my first skip of the race. So my gems will go down by about 240, but it's important that you lead by example and do your skips as a lead, as a co-lead, as a senior player, so others can follow your footsteps. In Placid Fury, we also log all of these so we get an idea of who has and hasn't contributed so we can make sure everyone can contribute, you know, somewhat evenly. And also really just acknowledge the people to go above and beyond and do additional skips. And here we have a Collect Gold JE. So as a free-to-play player, Collect Gold, Collect Food and Feed Food are your best friends. Do as many of those as you can and I'll create a new video. So watch out for another video about gold production and how to optimize your habitats for gold. I do get about, I'm gonna say 30 million gold per hour at the moment. And here our best friend Greenosaur is back as a free to play player. So here you'll find I rank up about 17 Greenosaurs for some good juicy points. And then we also rank up three epics from our pods. up to 20k and we finally get to hatch ferris but he has one rune slot but if he is to have one rune slot this is the time you want to do it because we do have rune experience on so unlocking those extra rune slots is going to be half price that's a pretty boring ultimate i have to admit oh some juicy rewards though check that out so I do like to set my skills for my mythics as soon as I hatch them because I tend to set and forget my skills, set the best skills that I can at the time I hatch them and then sort of forget about them until I'm going to use them. But if for example I'm doing a war and I've selected them and I forget to check their skills by mistake, then at least I know if they've got a reasonable set on them already. So we're going to just feed them up. and check out Ferris's skills. I haven't looked at any of the new monster skills in detail. I'll be doing a whole series of monster analysis and reviews after the race, so stay tuned for those. In the meantime, let's check out what skills we want to put onto Ferris together. I also like to rename my monsters. The first thing I came up with some kind of mask for this one, and we'll just unlock them and add some gold runes onto it real quick. Okay, and checking out the skills, the triple damage, we definitely want that. That's going to become quite useful for certain walls. And this block all damage except light for all allies and nanovirus. No, not, not nanovirus. Increase stamina. That's also going to be useful as well. So we don't really need the single one, but we'll definitely do the one that helps all allies. 
There's a nanovirus skill, that's pretty useful as well, so we'll probably put that in, we'll see what else there is. Remove positive e effects. We want remove positive effects because that's gonna be useful to, for example, remove the positive effect from a, a megaton. That's gonna be quite useful. And here I'm just organizing my skills. So how I like to organize my skills is have the one that I'm gonna be using most often up the top, because then when I'm using the skills, it sort of goes from left to right. And the ones down the bottom, I typically have as support skills, like the triple damage or the protect all from elements except for light. So we're set up and Ferris is pretty much good to go now. So whenever we wanna use him, we can. Okay, so we're gonna do this OFA, which is a craft 13 rooms. Quite funny because I caught the task on clock and I'm doing it, do it on my account. Yes, so I can do the video. And here we have some craft level five runes. So this is another one because I'm prepping level four runes constantly throughout the race. This is a really easy task for me to do as a free to play player. Yes, it is gonna cost me one gem each, but it really allows me to contribute in a meaningful way to the team by doing a lot of these craft level five runes. And it also helps me to be able to gamble on the level five runes or level six runes later on. Is that 22,000 at the moment? Okay, and we are back. We are currently on 22,000 points and we had like a really weird period. The last six hours, we basically didn't move at all. And now it seems like the troops are just starting to come back. So this is a really slow race by our standards. I think we're on lap 59 at the moment and we are three days and four hours. So normally we would be in this Sort of like the, the high 60s by now so this is a bit of a slow race so we'll be looking to pick up the pace a bit so we do have a new node here so i'm just going to hatch and then i'm going to do a bunch of pvp and i might just talk you through my pvp attack team really quickly because i do believe it is firmly the best pvp attack team in the game right now so let's hatch and go do some pvp it's a shame we have to hatch this shock turtle. We have hatched. Yeah, we have hatched. So, um, it would have been nice to have done it for a task, but we don't have it. It's what it is. So I've got a whole separate video where I go through this PvP team in detail. But look at my stats, it's 27 out of 29. And those first two losses were just against teams that counted my team quite well. And our defense is holding up pretty well as well at about 50%. So shout out to Potty from Hound for helping with my team. Yeah. So we're gonna go through and do a couple of attacks with Let's call first. Basic the two. So I think this is just hands down the best attack team. Obviously it's not but we have to play attack team because I've got all, all of these monsters using orbs and stardust and you know Shelly is a exclusive legends buff so this is an interesting team because this team can counter me quite well so this is a good showcase of this team in action anytime I run into a 150 Sharky that can be a problem for me and he's also hiding behind the megatons so let's fight and see how we go so here, what I want to do is I want to age oversee one of these guys. And then how we deal with Sharky, damage mirror. So Sharky won't be able to get through us, but it goes on to Shelly. So there goes Shelly. And then we just need to heal up. So what can we do here? We can't do sequence bender. 
that we have in ESO. We should we should have reverted and then bait. That would have been a bit. So here we need to heal up and get rid of that vulnerable. Yes, we survived. But that's a good sign. Only just though. And here we will disable can't do that. We need to add this bottom. He's got a positive effect removed, so that's the shit. At least we've got one. And now we will oversee the other. Okay. So we may lose Shelly here. Hopefully that can do enough yet. So we survived again. So that's the plan against Hardy. We just have to survive for as long as we can. And let's get our Mega Shield back. We can't sequence Bender because that will trigger anticipation. So we're just alive. That will get and now we will do that we still have a Uriels we're back for one more life and at least Adi is on low now we will revert on ourselves and then baby So we managed to get Hardy. That's good. Let's era. Okay, disable. So this is probably one of the toughest things I can run into. Like anytime I get Hardy or Hardy plus say a Ragnarok, it can be really tough. So this is a good showcase of how even if I run against a dangerous team, I can still come through. And I'll be spotted. Yeah. Get that Abyss bottom. Put that on to Gonna freeze everyone. All over again. Reason cut. Did they just come? Just come up the frozen and freeze them all over. So that's a really long DP and we will do just one more and see who we get so we can sort of showcase what I believe to be the best attack in the game. Right so that's going to be our race for today and we will be back tomorrow for another free to play race day and hopefully we can get close-ish to 85 by tomorrow and we'll probably personally be around 30k and so if you enjoyed this video or learned something make sure to subscribe and i will see you with your beautiful race monster